Hey guys, Mandarin here, and today I'm going to show you a brief guide on how you can level up farming in Iron Man to use beehives. I want to specify that this is not a general farming guide, but methods you can use to get to level 17 so you can start using beehives, which is a great way to level farming in Iron Man. Because of that, the methods used here are assuming you are below 17 farming. Once you reach level 17, all you'll need to do for a while to level is harvest your honey and do your daily farm runs, which I'll go more into later. The first thing you want to do is get your compost started, since it'll take some time to decompose. The best way to do this is to get pineapples to make super compost. Every day you can buy 40 noted pineapples in Catherby. Go south to the docks and talk to Arhein, selecting the third option to buy pineapples. He sells them for 2 coins each, so buy the max of 40 pineapples for 80 coins. Since this is a cheap and easy way to get super compost, make sure to come back daily to keep getting more. You won't need it just yet, but while you're in Catherby, grab the insect repellent on the table in the eastern house if you don't already have one. It can be added to your tool belt. Now go to the bank to unnote your pineapples and grab 15 per compost bin you're using. Deposit them in any compost bin and make sure you close it to get it going. You can go to multiple compost bins to use up all of your pineapples if you want to get it all right away. You can find compost bins at the Manor Farm in Ardoin, north of Talvery Lodestone, and in the allotments located in Catherby, west of Port Fasmatis, and north of Port Sarim. The super compost will lower the chances of your crops becoming diseased, and it'll increase the yield you'll get. It does this better than normal compost as well, so it's great to have it at a lower level. It'll take an hour and a half for the pineapples to fully decompose, so while you're waiting, you can do Nemi Forest. Nemi Forest is a daily that can give you decent experience in farming, along with other skills. To teleport to the area, open up your grouping system and have Liberation of Mazcab selected. Then, click on View Selected on the bottom and create a new group. Once that's done, click to update the group and then ready up. Click to complete the group when asked and then select the first option to be teleported. You can leave the group after this if you want. To get to the forest, start going west and then southwest. It'll automatically bring you inside the forest when you get to the trees. The layout for the forest is different for each world and it changes every day. There's a helpful subreddit you can use to find a detailed map of a forest for the day. I'll put a link for that in the description. This was the map I had the day I did it. You have to make sure you're in the correct world stated on the image for it to work. For me, it was World 60, but it could be different for you. The forest has different nodes scattered around that will give you a certain type of experience. The specific nodes you see here may not always appear when you do it, and there may even be repeats of a certain kind. All you have to do is go to each node and interact with it, and you'll get experience. You can see in the image here that in addition to farming, you can gain experience in prayer, mining, and dungeoneering. Even though this video is focusing on farming experience, you might as well hit all of the nodes because it's so easy to get and the prayer nodes in particular will be very useful for Iron Man. If you have duplicates on your map, you can only interact with it once. For example, if your map has two mushrooms, you can only gain experience from one of them. But you can still get farming experience from fungal growth and mysterious flowers as well. You may have noticed the Trinks Tasks icons here as well, but since those only relate to reputation, I won't be covering that here. Looking at the specific map you'll have, just go through the forest in an optimal path to hit all of the nodes and leave the forest when you're done. Make sure to do this every day to get the most use out of it. Now you can start buying seeds to plant. Teleport to Talvery and go north to trade with Head Farmer Jones. You can buy 10 potato, onion, cabbage, and tomato seeds. Buy the highest level seeds you can plant. You can also buy sweet corn and strawberry seeds here. You won't be able to plant them just yet, but if you have the extra cash and want to start stocking up now to prepare for later, 
go ahead and buy that. If you need buckets for the super compost later on, grab those here as well. You'll need 15 buckets for each bin you filled. Olivia and Draenar also sells 10 potato, onion, and cabbage seeds. So if you need more of those, trade with her in the market. Wait for the remaining time for your super compost to finish. If you want to use normal compost to grow some seeds while you wait, you can buy it from any farming shop. Otherwise, just hold on to your seeds and wait. Once it's ready, grab your seeds and 15 buckets and open up the bin to gather the super compost. Now you can weed the allotments, use your super compost on it, and plant your seeds. Each allotment uses up 3 seeds, so you'll need 6 per farm and 24 total if you want to plant on all of the farms. Similar to the compost bin locations, there are allotments at the Manor Farm in Ardoin, northwest of the Catherby Lodestone, in Canvas west of Port Phasmatis, and the farm north of Port Sarim. Keep planting in the allotments until you reach level 17 farming. Make sure you keep making and using your super compost to increase the yield for more experience. Once you reach 17 farming, you can start using the beehives, which is going to be the best way to level farming early on in Iron Man. There are five different types of honeycomb you can make from the beehives depending on the flower you put into it. The most practical one you're going to want to make is medicinal honeycomb using woad leaves. There are seven beehives that you'll be filling up and each one can hold up to 27 leaves, so you'll need a total of 189 woad leaves for this. To get the woad leaves, teleport to Falador and go to the east to find Wizen the Gardener. When buying them, there is a fast but more expensive method and a cheap but slower method. If you want to get the best value, you'll need to talk to him and select the second option to talk about woad leaves and then the fourth option to pay 20 coins. He'll then give you two leaves. This will take time to get 189 leaves though, so if you want to do it faster for a higher price, you can right click Wizen and select buy woad leaves to buy however many you want for 25 coins each. If you get them two at a time for a better value, it'll cost you 1.8 thousand for the 189 leaves you'll need. If you buy it in bulk, it'll cost you 4.7 thousand, so choose the method that makes sense for your wallet and time. Once you have your leaves, go to the Ardoin farm and head to the beehives to the east. Click on each beehive to check it and make the max you can for each one. It'll take about an hour for the beehives to produce one honeycomb. Since you can put 27 leaves in a hive, you can either take note of when you first put it in and come back 27 hours later, or for convenience sake, you can make it a daily and just come back at the same time every day. It would only use up 24 of the 27 leaves you put in doing it that way, but you can just use whatever's left over for your next batch and buy less leaves to fill it. You can right click and check on the flowers to see how much is still inside. After waiting however long you decided, return to the beehives with your insect repellent on your tool belt or in your inventory. If you don't have this with you, you will take 20 damage and you won't be able to collect your honey. Just go up to the beehives and right click to take the honey from each one. Each harvest will give you 83.3 farming experience. So if you harvest 27 honey from each of the 7 beehives, that'll give you over 15,000 total farming experience. Make sure you keep up with checking your beehives at the right time and putting in more leaves to get this experience daily. Depending on what flower you put into the beehive, you'll get different kinds of honeycombs that have different effects on animals in your farm. Because we use woad leaves here, we got medicinal honeycomb. This type will restore 10% of the animal's health but they have to be cured of any diseases before you can use it on them. Click on the honeycomb and use it on the animal you want to give them that 10% boost. The higher your animal's health and happiness, the more farming experience you'll get from them when you gather produce. So you might as well use the honeycombs as you get them if you have animals for more experience. Alright everybody, that's all you need to know to get some farming levels early on in Iron Man. As I said earlier, you can stick with the beehives for a while and keep doing them daily to get decent farming experience. 
In a later video, I'll show an optimal path you can take to plant in all the allotments, tree patches, and fruit tree patches. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you all later. Bye!